And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Today's satellite imagery showing Band of clouds here, especially the front main low back there northwest of the Arctic coast, right over the Chukchi Sea there north of Wrangell Island. Front and moisture here extending from the eastern Arctic coast all the way down into the northern Bering Sea here, linking up with some moisture with a system back out there to the west that's tracking eastward. Uh, let me see if I can roll that through one more time. Well, you get the idea there. Out in the west, uh, mostly moving up to the north here, system over, uh, cutting across southern Gulf of Alaska will approach the southeast coast and then begin to dive off to the southeast across the Queen Charlotte's there. And as far as flying weather goes, uh, marginal VFR for the Panhandle tomorrow morning. Not bad here over the eastern interior from uh, Cook Inlet, Kenai Peninsula, mostly VFR. Some marginal VFR up over the Sitna Valley and uh, on up to the Alaska Range, Western Alaska Range, IFR, Koba, Koyukuk Valleys, northern areas there, southern slopes of the Central Brooks Range, and then back to some VFR here for the Eastern Arctic Coast. Lots of IFR with all that moisture, and you can see it extends all the way back into the uh, Southwest Bering Sea, Western Aleutians, and from about Atka Island in toward uh, the Western Alaska Peninsula, right into the Southwest Coast, IFR covering uh, southern Seward Peninsula areas. And then for Sunday afternoon, band of IFR continues here with that fetch of moisture that extends from the uh, Seward Peninsula there across St. Lawrence Island all the way back to the Western Aleutians. More IFR here for the uh, central and eastern Aleutians up to about the Pribilofs, extending into the uh, southwest coast a little bit there. Otherwise, uh, Shelikoff Strait into Cook Inlet, VFR, Madnuska Valley, VFR into the Copper River Basin and northward over the eastern interior. Marginal VFR up into the central interior here, all the way up to the Brooks Range. North of the mountains up there, though, looking not bad. VFR into the afternoon, some marginal VFR for the western Arctic coast. VFR for the Panhandle, North Gulf Coast, Prince William Sound. And then for Monday morning, VFR holds here over the southeast coast. And most of the North Gulf Coast as well, Prince William Sound, Kenai Peninsula, Cook Inlet, but uh, IFR off the coast, IFR along and south of the Brooks Range and the Eastern Arctic Coast, uh, VFR, marginal VFR for the Western coastline up there. Bering Sea here, solid IFR, same thing for the Aleutians into the Alaska Peninsula. And then for the afternoon, again, mostly IFR here out over the Bering Sea and the Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula marginal and VFR in the interior, but you can see some marginal VFR areas of here uh, from the Western Alaska Range across the Cuscombe Valley there out to Norton Sound and Northern Seward Peninsula, Kotzebue, Selawik Valley, Kobuk Valley, VFR, Eastern Interior, good VFR there from Prince William Sound right up across the Copper River Basin to the Brooks Range, Panhandle, VFR. Passes, Anatuvik and Adigan look pretty marginal for the day tomorrow and Sunday. Marginal VFR for the Lake Clark and Merrill passes at times. Rainy marginal VFR at times there as well. Windy could be marginal, but uh, Isabel VFR, Mintasta VFR, Tanita VFR, and Sunday looking to be a VFR day through Portage Pass. And for Chilkoot and White, VFR. Freezing levels, uh, 2,000 feet up along the Arctic coast tomorrow morning, 4,000 feet down into the Western Brooks Range and then all the way up to 10,000 feet as you get in toward Bristol Bay and about uh, 8,000 feet here across the Panhandle. And not much difference, about eight to 10,000 feet over the Bering Sea and the Aleutians. Icing, a lot of moisture sliding northeastward here into the uh, interior from the west coast. So look for considerable moderate rime icing, freezing level about 15,000 feet through this area. Staying pretty much icing free here over southern Alaska, Bristol Bay and the Aleutians, southern Bering Sea, and the Panhandle icing free as well. Looking at the jet stream, upper level low, that system coming eastward will start to track southeastward to about this position at 3,000 feet tomorrow afternoon. Northerly flow on the light side behind a much stronger uh, southwest flow, 85 knots, carrying that moisture into the central and uh, northern interior here with the trough back out over the Bering Sea. And for the uh, 9,000 foot wind flow, 
About the same thing, southwest flow, 40 to 45 knots, right into the interior, lighter, or variable down to the south, and lighter, but still west-southwesterly up to the north and the Arctic coast there. And that low tracking down toward Dixon, it will actually right across Queen Charlotte Islands at 9,000 feet. 3,000 feet, light winds for the Panhandle, Gulf of Alaska, some high pressure, light winds there. Low pressure back here toward the Bering Strait, so west-southwest flow, 40 to 45 knots here. Uh, central western interior on back into the northern Bering Sea areas. And as far as turbulence goes, smooth for the Panhandle, North Gulf Coast. Look for moderate turbulence here in the west central interior areas, back out to St. Lawrence Island, most of the Seward Peninsula, nothing up north, and with the next system out there kicking some moderate turbulence into the west central Aleutians.